The one of the uh, guards that w that beat me um, converted. Um, had a real big experience in there, you know. Hello there, everybody, and thanks for tuning in again for another video here on Armor of God. As we all know by now, the filming of the sequel to Passion of the Christ movie will start this spring. In the meantime, let us take a look at the injuries suffered by Jim Caviezel during the filming of the first movie, The Passion of the Christ. Before we get on with the video, please do share this video on your Facebook and Twitter to help spread the message. Now let's continue. Frightening Lightning Jesus delivered the timeless message of loving one's enemies on the Sermon on the Mount. While Mel and crew were recreating that sermon for the film, someone or something seemed to have been quietly observing and trying to send a message. Jim famously got hit by lightning while reciting the Love Your Enemies lines in Aramaic. Interestingly, it was the film's assistant director Jan Michelini who got struck by lightning first and who got hit twice. Being struck by an element from the heavens while filming what would become a highly controversial movie is almost as coincidental as the actor's initials being the same as the man he portrayed. It's been rumored, I don't know how true this is, that as you were filming this you were hit with lightning? Yes. That's true. I was lit up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> you? It, I, it, was, it was a shot I was doing on the Sermon on the Mount. And I knew it was going to hit me about four seconds before it happened. I said, I'm going to get hit. And when it happened, it was, uh, I saw the extras grab the ground in front of me. And what they uh, saw was fire coming out the right and left side of my head and an illumination around the whole body. And <laughs> Mel, there was a, during the shot, they said, do you have it on camera? Actually, what happened was he, he said, action. And as the camera's panning, coming to me, right around here is where this light just generated. When he came, uh, when he got, by the time he got to me, he, I, I hear Mel screaming out, you know, what the heck happened to his hair? I mean, I look like I went to see Don King's hairstylist. Five minutes after I get hit, got hit, Jan Michelini, one of the assistants, walks over and says, are you okay? Then he got hit, and I said the difference was the, that they saw the bolt come down and hit Jan. They didn't see that. Um, when I was standing there, and I never, all I felt was this, this, this uh, like a giant tremendous slap on my ears in about eight seconds of uh, uh, like a pink red static in front of my eyes. Wicked whipping. There's no shortage of fake crowns of thorns, crosses, and whips that the filmmakers could have used to avoid injurious mishaps. Instead, they opted for realistic materials such as the whip that dealt the actor ungodly pain from a flogging gone wrong. While filming the scourging scene, one of the actors missed his aim and accidentally struck Jim instead of the whipping post that was supposed to receive the whip. And again in another take. This was just in the second sorrowful mystery. There were more to come. Devilish Migraines Caviezel also had to sit at the makeup chair from 2 a.m. well until around 10 a.m. so hair and makeup artists could put makeup on him and apply single strands of beard hair that would make him look like a proper messiah. In addition, he had to work several days with one eye cosmetically shut to make it look swollen. This was for scenes where Jesus wore a crown of thorns as well as for the rest of the stations of the cross sequences. From all this, Jim suffered from migraines, which was relatively milder compared to what he was yet to endure. Dislocated shoulders and more. Some actors go on extreme diets to slim down or pack on the pounds to play a role. Jim didn't have to do either, but he did undergo rigorous training to play Jesus. Still, his training proved inadequate to play one of the most popular carpenters the world has known. While filming scenes of the walk to Golgotha, the actor had to carry a 150-pound wooden crucifix. Although he was able to do that through most of the filming, one of the Roman soldiers who was supposed to catch the crucifix failed to do so in a scene where Jesus falls to the ground. This resulted in dislocated shoulders, some slight mouth injuries, and an almost crushed skull all caused by the immensely heavy and burdensome cross. I remember yelling out, you obviously don't care. Here we are breaking our backs for you. And at that, at that point, this cross is swaying from four feet from one direction to the next. 
and I'm on a thousand foot cliff, if that thing snaps, I'm toast. It was over. And Mel didn't know what to do. It was just, we were in the middle of a shot and all of a sudden the wind coming up this canyon. It's like going to the Grand Canyon and sticking a cross at the edge of it. it it's all cemented in and, and you know, you think you're, you're safe, but then when those winds go, it's going back and teetering back and forth. And the hypothermia was uh, um, horrendous. Uh, you're itching all over the place. I had a shoulder separation, if you've ever gone through one of those. And uh, I thought, well, we got it. And then the next day, we watched the, the film, and it looked great and whatnot. And, and Mel says, we can't use it. And I said, what do you mean we can't use it? You know, uh, literally yelling at him. What do you mean we can't use it? He says, if they're focused on that cross, they're not focused on my Jesus. They're going to be looking at that thing going back and mm. forth. He said, forget it. No, we're doing it again. Well, that went for another five weeks, just the crucifixion scenes Three. alone. Three. Five weeks of this? Just for the crucifixion scenes. About of pneumonia. Towards the end of filming, Jim would suffer even more. At this point, it was a small consolation that he was spared from having his hand accidentally nailed on the cross. But while filming the crucifixion scenes, the actor, clad in just a loincloth, had to soldier against severe winter winds. There are no accounts in scripture as to whether Jesus himself suffered from anything else other than getting his side pierced before he passed on. Meanwhile, the actor who played Jesus in a movie lived to tell that he was afflicted with lung infection and pneumonia. Career Tanking Can you name a film that Jim Caviezel had starred in after this one? After the film's astonishing success, Mel Gibson's career did not slow down like he predicted it would, but its main stars did. Throughout the film's production and subsequent release, it would appear that Jim had reason to complain about the injuries he sustained while working in such dreadful conditions. But he did not. He is even slated to star in the sequel. One can only hope that the sequel he signed on for will be far less violent. What do you think it's going to do to your career? And if it did blow it out of the water? Right. This is what I feel. I believe I was called to play this role. I always felt in my heart, I didn't know if I was the right guy. Maybe he doesn't always choose the best, but he chose me, and I had an opportunity to say yes. And so I said yes. And so when I look out to all my fellow Americans and people in the world, I say to them, I want you to go out into to this public and shamelessly express your faith in public. And that's what I've done here. And I can let it rest as it is. I don't know where, where it's going, but if it doesn't turn out, in, where I'm continually working. I'm still an actor. I'll always be one, regardless if I get another job or not. But I fulfilled my mission right now. I felt what I was supposed to do right now. That's, I, that was my opportunity, and I would have done it again. Well, if you make it this far, thanks so much for sticking until the end of the video, and you might want to consider watching this and this for updates on the sequel. God bless you and much love, everybody. You had, you had a literal miracle on the set. I mean, what do you attribute? I mean, you could have died. People get hit with lightning playing golf and they die. Yeah, um, or get incinerated. Yeah. Jan, but there was a, the hairiest thing about it is Jan, who came up to me, had already been hit. And it, it, I mean, three lightning strikes on one film, one guy getting hit twice and me getting hit, obviously, the one time. but. Uh, and there were a lot of miracles, uh, other than that kind of a miracle. You mean on the set? Well, you know, we one of the guys was a Muslim on the, on the film. The, one of the uh, guards that, we, that beat me um, converted. Um, had a real big experience in there, you know. But what was going on in the, f and what, we had so many prayers worldwide, yeah. what we were going through. And I really believe that was important.